Howdy. 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 Today's my birthday, and I want to dedicate my birthday and my work to the late greatest Muhammad Ali. Um, in the middle 60s, when I was in high school, I was delighted by Cassius Clay's work, and later became a bigger fan of him. Uh, in 1966, <coughs> there were a few of us who became resistance to the Vietnam War. And we were very isolated, those who were 19 years old then. It was very difficult being so isolated like that. And he became the first famous person to join our resistance against the war uh, at great risk. Um, risk to his career. Um, they took away his um, awards for boxing championships because of his courageous stance against the war at that time. He risked his life for it and his fortunes. Uh, and he made it so much easier for us to do our work in the resistance then. Um, how many of us are here of draft age? Um, a few. Um, I found it interesting this past week in the news, um, the legislators were introducing uh, an attempt to uh, make it a law requiring young women to register for the draft too. And I hope you'll all join us. We had women supporting us in the 60s too. That made it a lot easier. Um, this is a, a, an old uh, Southern hymn I've been working on. Uh, Ronnie Millsap had a big hit with it. Um, Maybe I'll put a little cheat sheet here in case I forget some of it.
Rest in peace, Muhammad Ali. This is another uh, war which we've been resisting, which is uh, the resistance is not popular with the liberals. But the chickens acting odd brought the narcotic squad to investigate some strange looking weed. The <laughs> DA said she'll go to jail for sure. Was Grandma Clark guilty? Was she not? In the floor and the fauna, she was growing marijuana. Had her vegetable garden gone to pot. <laughs> Our clock off to jail that day. We're on the legal plants, the charges read. Well, you damn bunch of fools, I ain't broken any rules. And I won't plead bargain, she said. Now, up in Arkansas, where Laura Clock was faced, there were no doctors to be found. But they used pokeweeds, roots, and potions, and other homemade lotions to cure most any sickness going around. <coughs> Now Grandma got arthritis when she turned 82. And a friend down in Mexico said, grow these seeds for your joints. And Grandma missed a point. And she rubbed them on her elbows instead. <laughs> attorney, he's a self-righteous man. He'll try grandma's case before long, but all the folks around Harris County have no doubt that grandma hadn't done nothing wrong. But the DA said she'll go to jail for sure. Was grandma Clark guilty? Was she not? Mid the floor and the fauna, she was growing marijuana. Had a vegetable garden gone to pot. <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't risk my neck to save no general's ass. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next one is the Light Years Away Band.